If you thought GPT-4 was impressive, just wait until you hear about GPT-5. Imagine an AI that understands your unique typing style and tailors its responses perfectly. When can we expect GPT-5 arrival? From groundbreaking features to the release date, we'll cover it all. If we're going to compare um, GPT-4 to GPT-5, uh, because you're at the cusp of this, you're actually seeing it at the forefront, what is the difference? Like, if I'm excited about GPT-5, what should I be excited about? I, I was sort of laughing a little bit because this is going to sound like an annoying answer, but I think it is the important part. It's going to be smarter. There are all of these other things, you know, we can talk about, it'll be better at these kind of tasks, it'll be multimodal, it'll be faster, what, what you know, who knows what. But the, the thing that I think really matters is it's going to be smarter. This is a bigger deal than it sounds, right? Because what, what makes these models so magical is that they're, they're general. And so if it's a little bit better, if it's a little bit smarter, that means it's a little bit better at everything. And the thing that I think is most exciting is it's not like this model is going to get a little better at this task and not really better at these or, you know, it's not that. It's because we're going to make the model smarter, it's going to be better at everything across the board. I, I think what I would do is try to, and I know you've done some work in this direction and I, I really appreciate it, but I, I would try to find a way to create more of a regulatory sandbox where people could experiment with this technology and and be able to figure out sort of like dream, imagine, whatever you want to call it, what the world could look like. Um, and then I would try to see what makes sense and what doesn't and write the regulation around that. Preview, if you will, for us, chat GPT-5. Um, what, what will the leaps in technology be and, and does it put you on a straighter path to where you want to be? Does it put us on a what path? I'm sorry? A what path? Uh, does it put you on a straighter path in terms of your goals? Um, so we don't know yet. Uh, you know, we're, we're optimistic, but we still have a lot of work to do on it. Uh, but I expect it to be a significant leap forward. Um, a lot of the things that GPT-4 gets wrong, you know, can't do much in the way of reasoning, sometimes just sort of totally goes off the rails and like makes a dumb mistake, uh, like even like a six-year-old would never make. Um, I expect it to be much, much better in those ways and to be able to be used for a much wider variety of, of more helpful tasks. And it does go off the rails sometimes. Is that a result to back where we were, we were speaking about the lack of data or the shortage of data? I think it's many things together. It's, we're, we're, we're still just like so early in developing such a complex system. Um, there's data issues, there's algorithmic issues, uh, the models are still quite small relative to what they will be someday, and we know they get predictably better. Uh, so I think it's more like there's many things that we need to go improve all of, and we're still just like so early in the technology. You know, the first iPhone was still pretty buggy, but it was like good enough to be useful for people. I love getting those things. I love how much people love ChatGPT. I really do. And five years from now, I just hope it's a lot more of that. I hope we have put this tool into the world that continues to delight people and let them do more and like be their best at whatever they're doing. GPT-5 Launch Rumors GPT-5, also known internally as Orion, is reportedly set to launch its next large language model in December 2024. Yes, you heard it right. In a March 2024 interview with Lex Fridman, Sam Altman stated, I don't know, that's the honest answer, highlighting the uncertainty surrounding the timeline. In another interview, when the interviewer asked Sam Altman about his plans for the launch of GPT-5, he replied, You stop here? Okay, sure. I mean, I, I think the whole industry is waiting with bated breath for the release of GPT-5. I guess it's been reported that it's launching sometime this summer, but that's a pretty big window. Can you narrow that down? I guess, where where are you in the release of GPT-5? Uh, we, we take our time on releases of major new models, and I don't think we... Uh, I think it will be great uh, when we do it, and I think we'll be thoughtful about how we do it. Uh, like, we may release it in a different way than we've released previous models. Um, also, I don't even know if we'll call it GPT-5. Um, what, I, what I will say is, you know, a lot of people have noticed how much better GPT-4 has gotten um, since we've released it, and particularly over the last few months. If you listen closely, he mentions that he doesn't even know if they'll call it GPT-5 or something else. This could be a hint, supporting the rumors that the Orion model might actually be GPT-5. If recent reports are true, 
we could be looking at a huge leap with GPT-5, potentially up to 100 times more powerful than GPT-4. But it seems OpenAI is being strategic about this release. Instead of launching it to everyone right away, they're planning to give access first to select companies like Microsoft and other trusted partners. This approach suggests they're really thinking through the implications of such advanced technology before rolling it out to the public. Technical Advancements On the technical side, GPT-5 appears poised to introduce noteworthy advancements, referred to as O1 Preview, or Strawberry, to generate synthetic data specifically designed to train GPT-5. This synthetic data, produced by AI to teach another AI, has been engineered to minimize hallucinations, which could make GPT-5 more reliable and intelligent in its responses. Um, I expect that the delta between 5 and 4 will be the same as between 4 and 3, and I think it is our job to live a few years in the future and remember that the tools we have now are going to kind of suck looking backwards at them. Enhanced reasoning abilities and a broader context window are also rumored, positioning GPT-5 as a model capable of more precise and complex problem solving. However, as compelling as claims of being 100 times more powerful may sound, there's reason to approach these with some reserve. Recently, an Apple researcher demonstrated how small changes in test questions caused even sophisticated AI models to falter challenging the perception that these models truly reason. While GPT-5 is expected to surpass previous capabilities, it remains to be seen just how substantial the improvement will be. Expected Features GPT-5 is expected to bring several important improvements over GPT-4. It will have better reasoning skills allowing it to solve more complex problems and think more logically. So we don't know yet. You know, we're, we're optimistic, but we still have a lot of work to do on it. But I expect it to be a significant leap forward. A lot of the things that GPT-4 gets wrong, you know, can't do much in the way of reasoning, sometimes just sort of totally goes off the rails and like makes a dumb mistake, even like a six-year-old would never make. I expect it to be much, much better in those ways and to be able to be used for a much wider variety of more helpful tasks. The model is also projected to handle different types of inputs, like videos, making it more versatile beyond just text and images. Personalization is likely to improve, enabling GPT-5 to tailor responses more closely to individual user preferences and contexts. And it's not a small thing. It means that it can adapt to each user's unique needs, similar to how Instagram personalizes content for its users nowadays. Additionally, GPT-5 is expected to process longer and more detailed inputs, leading to more coherent and relevant outputs. These advancements aim to make GPT-5 a more powerful and adaptable AI language model. Safety and Ethical Considerations Concerns about safety and ethics surrounding GPT-5 are on the rise. Critics argue that OpenAI is rushing to release new models without fully addressing the potential risks. Some former employees have even raised alarms about safety protocols being compromised, prompting calls for more transparency and better safety measures. We just uploaded a video on our channel featuring former employees discussing OpenAI's safety measures. They share some insights that might raise your concerns about the rapid expansion of OpenAI. If you want to check it out, just click the I button. Due to this, OpenAI has set up a safety and security committee to strengthen its processes as they get closer to achieving artificial general intelligence (AGI) but there's still skepticism about whether these efforts are enough. This highlights the ongoing need for conversations about accountability and responsible AI governance as powerful models like GPT-5 come into play. Check out this video on your screen, where I dive into everything you need to know about OpenAI's next big goal after GPT-5.